bitches. It's the Dipper Boys X here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Copenhagen lid trick. I've been in this off of my step cousin. But what you do is you take a Copenhagen can lid. What is that? But what you want to do is you want to finish your dip first. You want to finish it when there's nothing in it. You don't really have stale as dip. Fucking chewing on that shit like sand. But what you want to do is you want to take the lid, put it in your palm like that, and you want to like apply a little bit of pressure. And with that little bit of pressure, you want to keep it going around the can lid until you start hearing like a crack. Just keep doing that. It might take a little while, but that'll be worth it in the end. Hear that? See that? Should to come out? Every true dipper should know how to do this. Simple as of that. Okay. You got your can lid. Oh, got a bunch of dip pieces on the back of this. But once you got that out, then you can like make all sorts of shit like it. Like what I do is I hold the warning label up like nah, like that. And then you can make like hat tabs and shit with it. You can do anything you want with it pretty much. This is very easy to do. I did that in like a matter of seconds. All you gotta do is add a lot of pressure behind it. Like not, not too much or you're gonna bend it. You don't want to bend it. <laughs> that will not be good. Even it's easy to fix if you bend it, but it would be it would just be harder to do. So that's my tutorial on this. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna be doing a dip review on Copenhagen Wintergreen tomorrow. Thank you. Hope you guys are doing these Copenhagen lid accessories and whatnot. I will do a video on like grizzly or skull uh can lids. So look forward to that. See you guys in the next video soon.